Okay, so this video is going to show how to set the IP address of a Bosler camera. We're going to use the Bosler Pylon Viewer. Um, I've got it on my desktop. If you don't have it on your desktop, then go over to the search and type in Pylon. Um, so you should probably spell it right. Pylon. E-Y-L-O-N. So I'm going to open that. I hope that didn't accidentally click on something else. And if the camera's connected and powered up, you should see the camera listed in the Giggy um, section. If you don't, then maybe you need to set the IP address. And the menu, there's a tools menu and Underneath that is the Pylon IP configurator. Click on that. It's going to search for all of the uh, all the cameras that are connected to your network. And in this case, I have one that happens to match my network card. My network card's configuration is set for 169.254. 150.203, so you see that down here at the bottom. So I've selected the network card, and I can see what my IP address is. And I can see a camera, so I select that camera, and I can see what the IP address is, and it's 169.254.203.66. And I can get to that camera. I don't have a little exclamation point under status or anything like that. I can communicate between those two because the first two octets, the 169.254, are sort of the, the default if you have DHCP set up and there's no DHCP server on your network. You're going to end up with, I'm going to the network card here, a 169.254 something something. And if you look at this subnet mask, you'll see 255.255.00. So again, same two have to match 255 255 that says that those first two have to match the device that you're talking to but the subnet mask 00 at the end means that any value in those locations of the ip address it'll be able to talk to so my network card starts with the same two values that the camera starts with. So that's why I can talk to them because I have a subnet mask that allows me to do that. So let's go back to the camera and just to keep things simple. I'm going to change this camera's IP address from being DHCP where it's constantly asking to find a DHCP server and constantly saying, hey, give me an IP address, to a static IP address. And conveniently, it has set up the same first two octets of the IP address to match my network card. And the subnet mask is the same. And again, just for Simplicity here, I'm going to set the IP address, the last two, exactly the same. So it's going to be 203.66. And of course, you could change that to whatever you wanted. You change this whole thing to whatever you wanted and change your network card to whatever values you want. But um, I'm going to keep this exactly the same for the purposes of this video. So enter the IP address, and hit save. After it saves, you will see that your status is okay, and now it's set for a static IP address. That camera is no longer going to send out requests for the DHCP server. Why that matters is, I'm gonna open up a Wireshark uh, capture, and I noticed this happening. Every five seconds, the camera was, it's a different camera from, from this capture, but every five seconds there was a heartbeat that 
the computer was sending to the camera looking for this control what was the value of this uh, control channel privilege and it would respond back within a millisecond and say this is the value five seconds later same thing would happen five seconds later same thing would happen five seconds later same thing would happen but then something strange occurred it sent out the request the computer asked the camera for the value which is basically just a heartbeat back and forth computer asks for something camera responds the camera didn't respond i'm not sure yet as to whether that's a problem in the camera but what is interesting is the next communication was a DHCP request from the camera. So the camera's still there. It's not like the camera died or anything. And the camera was in the middle of doing something else. It was basically getting maybe, maybe getting ready to ask for the DHCP information. I'm not sure why it stopped responding to the heartbeat, but after the DHCP, it never responded to the heartbeat. This re reoccurred every second for 10 seconds. And here's another DHCP. Here's a request. Here's another, hey, heartbeat, are you there? And the camera never responds, but the camera does respond to the discovery requests where the computer is asking, hey, are there any cameras out here? And the camera responds, yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, and it keeps doing that, and yet it never reconnects. So just to be safe, this whole video is to disable our DHCP, and that's what we're doing.